Welcome back. Sam Bankman Freed, founder of the crypto exchange FTX, is in jail in the Bahamas right now after a judge denied his request for bail. The former CEO is expected to remain there until his extradition hearing in February. His lawyers are saying they will fight his extradition to the United States. As SBF's uh, legal problems continue to mount, the political fallout also continues to rattle lawmakers here in Washington. Yesterday, prosecutors from the Southern District of New York laid out the charges against Sam Bankman Freed, including how he used customer assets for political purposes. And all of this dirty money was used in service of Bankman Freed's desire to buy bipartisan influence and impact the direction of public policy in Washington. Joined now and set by Congressman Brad Sherman. He's a member of the House Financial Services Committee, which held that hearing about FTX yesterday. Congressman, um, thanks for coming in. Good to be with you. So this seems, the, the, the true cynical way to look at this is that here is somebody who may may or may not have been running a Ponzi scheme. We'll wait and find out if it if, if it is. And the best way to keep the government away was to essentially buy influence left and right. Don't buy one party, buy both parties. And this guy wrote substantial checks, did a potential Ponzi scheme for a technology that not everybody's convinced is necessary. Um, really? You know, did they did they use our campaign finance system to make it real? I've been trying to ban crypto for five years now, and uh, there's no lobby or PAC in town that's working for effective tax law enforcement mm -hmm. or the anti-money laundering statutes. But it's not just Bankman, but others, but particularly him, uh, was spreading money around on both sides. Uh, I... I, 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 I think it, it's not just the money, but the promise that the, the whole industry is going to be there with, uh, mm -hmm. with, uh, with bigger money. He spent a lot of money in primaries and lost a lot of money mm -hmm. uh, in primaries. I don't think he spent it but all this that this is turning out not to be his money that he may have spent. Right. And that he may have spent investor money in this, which is another level of fraud. But what does this mean for the political entities that took this? Well, I think uh, some have given it to charity, but uh, I is think... Is charity the right answer? The right answer is back to the investors, because yeah. it was never Bankman's money. How do you do that? Uh, I've told a colleague or two to put the money aside and wait until the bankruptcy trustee has a fund that people can uh, return money to and add it to what other, a uh, other assets the bankruptcy trustees able to You know, to he gave together. some, I think, $30 million in total? But no, he mostly, he, he gave a little. Yeah. He did independent expenditures, right. and they were terror. He, he lost seven million dollars on well, backing the, the wrong one. candidate yeah. in Oregon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but he also gave a six million dollar check to House Majority PAC, I believe. Yep, that's and not an insignificant check. That, that isn't, and it'll be interesting to see uh, what that PAC does and whether the bankruptcy uh, court uh, can recover it. So you want to ban crypto? Is there no positive thing that comes from Bitcoin? Do you see any positive thing that comes crypto from Crypto is a way to evade financial... Well, right now, it's not a currency at all. Right. It's a pet, an electronic pet rock, and you bet that you can sell it to somebody. Mm -hmm. So my concern is it may become a currency. If a, concern, a currency, it helps you defeat financial laws. Now, I want to defeat the financial laws of Iran and Russia. Mm -hmm. But to a much greater extent, I want to enforce the financial laws of the United States. And uh, I'm up against uh, uh, a... Um, a Republican Party or chunks of it, uh, every time a, uh, a billionaire successfully cheats on their taxes, mm -hmm. a member of the Freedom Caucus earns his wings. That's a, that's a, I, I, I get the line you're trying to say there, but with crypto, they've bought off both parties. There's significant members of Congress left and right mm -hmm. that are pro-crypto here. Our, uh, those of us who are strong crypto mm -hmm. spe skeptics, we've just got to play defense and let the SEC get involved. Mm -hmm. Now, it takes them a long time, and I've criticized them for not enforcing, particularly on crypto exchanges. Uh, but I don't think, for the reason you point out, I don't think we can win playing offense. I don't think we can pass good legislation. If you regulate crypto, then you will legalize crypto forever. So, if, and that's, I know you want to, I mean, it does feel like, is regulating crypto a, a, actually a trap? If you impose the anti-money laundering statutes, then you take away the one way crypto can aspire to become a currency. How mm -hmm. it's going to compete against the dollar? What's its advantage? Crypto means hidden currency. Mm -hmm. So if you don't let them hide, if you impose on uh, the entire U.S. portion of the ecosystem mm -hmm. the anti-money laundering statutes, there's no reason for crypto when it goes away. It's not as good as banning it, but it's as close as we're going to get. 
And is that, do you think that's the most more feasible way to go, that that's where you'll get some support from folks that want to, I mean, would you accept the idea that crypto is a commodity? Uh, Sam Bankman fried spent all this money for one purpose, and that was to keep the SEC out of the crypto world. Mm -hmm. And he was willing to call it a commodity. And his bill, and I've told my, my colleagues, don't trash Sam Bankman fried and then go pass his bill. So mm -hmm. uh, calling it a commodity and getting You don't it think weaker, it's a commodity? Uh, I think it is a security. And if it's also a commodity and a second weaker agency wants to regulate it too, I'm all for that. But the purpose of calling it a commodity from Sam Bankman frieds standpoint was to say it's not a security and keep the SEC the bigger and, and tougher regulator out of his area. In some ways, is the fact that everybody, there's going to be a lot of dirtied, dirtied up politicians who took all this crypto money. You think that actually gives you more of a chance? To get something passed because people I, I, want yeah, to cleanse themselves. You don't have many, you know, he spent money in primaries people lost, so they're not well, even Well, but here. he sent it to the major He's, parties. He sent Every it, major yeah, party's it's, it's committee not, it's, got it's, a big check It's, it's not an individual. There are a few individuals who are giving back $5,000 here, $5,000 there. But as you point out, the, the big money was independent expenditures and to independent expenditure committees. And you don't face the same heat when your name's not on it. Yeah, maybe that ought to change. <laughs> Hey, Brad Sherman, thanks for coming in. Democrat from uh, Southern California. Good to see you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.